For more videos and problems for management information systems, you can check out Sarai Studies. Link is in the description box below. This is the same data set we used in the last task. Every row is a customer order. So this customer ordered a product from the entertainment category. So maybe they ordered a movie. They ordered six of them. The price of that movie for some really odd reason was really expensive, $124.82. They ordered six of them, so six times that, that's our revenue, $748.92. And the person who sold the movie to that customer was Eve. That's our salesperson right here. The goal is we want to see how much each salesperson contributed in each category, but we just want the values of the salesperson's contributions as a percentage of the grand total of the total amount of revenue, not of the total amount of revenue we, uh, each category specifically. So we'll just get started and I'll show you what to do. So this video is going to be pivot tables and then the next we'll do the exact same thing from scratch using formulas. You can right click on the data, control A, format as a table, make sure you go to your home page. I'm going to do blue, click OK. Don't change anything. Then again, select anywhere on the data. Then you want to go to insert, pivot table, and then click OK. Don't change anything. Then you have your field list. Think about it. What do we want to do? We want to find out how much each salesperson, so salesperson, contributed in terms of revenue, so revenue, for each category, so category are all the things that we need. Now we want to see this from the perspective of each category. So we want for each category, the list of salespeople. So we're going to just make it go to the top like so. That's it. And now for each category, we have a list of salespeople and how much revenue they contributed over here. If we take the sum of these revenues, that's what that number is right there. Now, the only difference from last task and this one is that we're going to add a new column. That's just going to be the percentage. If your thing pops out, you can either click. Sometimes it works or you can right click anywhere and just show field list and it'll pop in again. So we want to add a new column and it's going to be revenue, but now as a percentage. So we want to just grab revenue again. We can drag it as values and we want this to be as a percentage. So we can either click on the little arrow value field settings, or we can double click on the blue like that will show us the same thing or right click and show value as and then these options right here. First of all, this is going to be percentage of grand total. So the total amount of revenue that we made. And I want to show the values as a percentage of the grand total and then click OK. Now what this tells me is that Alice contributed 1.70% of all of the revenue made doesn't matter the category, just all of the revenue made, she contributed 1.70%. And that 1.70% was of appliances. And Bob contributed 1.31% of the entire revenue, but it was of appliances. Bob contributed another 0.73% of the entire revenue, but it was specifically from the automotive category and so on. If you go all the way down, you'll see 100% of the revenue and then you'll see how much actual revenue they made in total. Now, another difference between the last task and this one, other than the fact we're adding a new column is the format. So instead of having Alice, Bob, Carol, Dave, and Eve being a new salesperson every row, we want them to be a new salesperson every column. So we can right click, show field list, and then instead of having salesperson as rows, let's track salesperson as columns. And we also don't care about the sum of revenue anymore. So I'm gonna go to sum of revenue, just click it and remove the field. And now all I see is the contributions that each salesperson made under every category as a percentage of the grand total. So all of these percentages add up to 100% of the total amount of revenue. So in other words, if we made 16, I think the number was 16 something amount of revenue, then 1.70% of that was contributed by Alice and it was from the appliances category. 1.31% of that amount of revenue was contributed by Bob in the appliances category. So it's just a different way to see it. We had the same data before and now it's just a different format. And the whole purpose of this is because I want to show you how to replicate the format that we have here where the salespeople are at the top with formulas from scratch in the next video. So I'll see you then.